What's up, YouTube world? This is Ur J back with another episode of White Boy Hip Hop Head Reviews. On today's episode, doing is something a little different. Uh, this song is from the Book of Mormon Broadway play, which was created by the makers of South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Uh, the particular song is called Turn It Off. It's hysterical, and I'm pretty sure I found a uh, video where they... Uh, Village Performance Arts Center is performing the song. Um, so, it's just a really good song. Uh, I hope you guys are super sensitive, because uh, you'll probably get your feelings hurt. Or you'll be offended by something, or you won't find it funny, which is just blasphemy, because the song's hysterical. But with that being said, let's just get into it. I got a feeling that you could be feeling a whole lot better than you feel today. You say you got a problem, well that's no problem. It's super easy not to feel that way. When you start to get confused because of thoughts in your head, don't feel those feelings. Hold them in instead. Turn it off, like a light switch, just go click. It's a cool little Mormon trick. We do it all the time when you're feeling certain feelings that just don't seem right. Treat those pesky feelings like a reading light. So turn it off, like a light switch, just go bap. Really, what's so hard about that? Turn it off. Turn it off! <laughs> <laughs> Like that would keep my mom feel bad Every time the Utah Jazz would lose He'd start drinking and I'd start thinking How I'm gonna keep my mom from getting abused I'd see her all scared and my soul was dying My dad would say to me, now don't you dare start <laughs> crying So turn it off Like a light switch, just go flick it's a nifty little Mormon trick. Turn it off. Turn it off. When I All right, I'm just going to stop it right there. <laughs> I'm sure you see where the song is. I'm sure you get the point of the song by now. Uh, if you don't, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. I got a feeling that you could be feeling a whole lot better than you feel today. You say you got a problem? Well, that's no problem. It's super easy not to feel that way. When you start to get confused because of thoughts in your head, don't feel those feelings, hold them in instead. Turn it off like a light switch, just go click. It's a cool little Mormon trick. We do it all the time when you're feeling certain feelings that just don't seem right. Treat those pesky feelings like a reading light and turn them off. Like a light switch, just go bap. Really, what's so hard about that? Turn it off. Turn it off. And they do like that awkward laugh, you know. <laughs> then we got Elder Church. When I was young, my dad would treat my mom real bad. Every time the Utah Jazz would lose, he'd start a drinking and I'd start a thinking, how am I gonna keep my mom from getting abused? <laughs> I'd see you're all scared and my soul was dying. My dad would say to me, now don't you dare start crying. Turn it off like a light switch, just go flick. It's our nifty little Mormon trick. <laughs> like... It's so good. And it just gets like progressively worse. Turn it off. Turn it off. When I was in the fifth grade, I had a friend, Steve Clay. He and I were close as two friends could be. One thing led to another, and soon I would discover I was having really <laughs> strange feelings for Steve. I thought about us on a deserted island. We'd swim naked in the sea, and then he try and turn it off like a light switch. There is. 
it's gone. My hetero side just won. Good for you. <laughs> I'm all better now. Boys should be with girls. That's Heavenly Father's plan. So if you ever feel you'd rather be with a man, turn it on. Well, Elton McKinley, I think it's okay that you're having gay thoughts, just as long as you never act upon them. No, because then you're just keeping it down. Like a dimmer switch on low. Oh, no. Thinking nobody needs to know. Uh -oh. But that's not true. Being gay is bad, but lying is worse. So just realize you have a curable curse. And turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. They did a good job. They did a good job, actually. Uh, I did see the real version of Book of Mormon uh, on the internet, and uh, and then I went and saw it at a cultural center near me. Uh, they had the touring play, and I saw it, and uh, they were, they did like the same exact dance. So that's cool. Um, I would like to mention they did leave a part out. Uh, and I'm not surprised as to why. Um, so I'll start there. Uh, in the original, uh, one of the people says, My sister was a dancer, but she got cancer. My doctor said she still had two months more. I thought she had time, so I got in line for the new iPhone at the Apple store. She lay there dying with my father and mother. Her very last words were, where is my brother? Turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I bid those sad feelings adieu. The fear I might get cancer too. You know, so they left that part out of this. Um, like I said, for pretty obvious reasons. I, I think they might have been performing for like a school or something. So, you don't want to make fun of uh, childhood cancer. When I was in fifth grade, I had a friend, Steve Blade. He and I were closest to friends could be. One thing led to another, and soon I would discover I was having really strange feelings for Steve. I thought about us on a deserted island. We'd swim naked in the sea, and then he'd try and, whoa, turn it off. Like a light switch, there it's gone. Good for you, my hetero side just won. I'm all better now. Boys should be with girls. That's Heavenly Father's plan. So if you ever feel you'd rather be with a man, turn it off. Well, Elder McKinley, I think it's okay that you're having gay thoughts just as long as you never act upon them. No, because then you're just keeping it down. Like a dimmer switch on low. 
thinking nobody needs to know uh oh but that's not true being gay is bad but lying is worse so just realize you have a curable curse and turn it off turn it off <laughs> like <laughs> and then i like the part now how do you feel the same then you've only got yourself to blame you didn't pretend hard enough imagine that your brain is made of tiny boxes and find the box that's gay and crush it then elder price is like no no i'm not having gay thoughts elder cunningham <laughs> all right it worked like the song is just so good and uh <laughs> like i don't know man it's just comedy it's just there for a good time you know, the makers of South Park wrote it, so what do you expect? Um, and with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this song as much as I do. And uh, until next time, folks, click like, subscribe, leave a comment, and peace.